Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So today we'll be finalizing this props tutorial over here. So as you can see, uh, I have started modeling of this particular prop. So let's go over here. I'll slightly just shuffle it over here. So what I can do over here is like uh, this looks a bit very small or something. I can uh, slightly make it bigger. So I can just slightly just scale this. Let's go over here. Select this. Select the polygon. Let's go over here and slightly I'll just assign a bit of insect. Slightly extrude it inside. So shift and extrude is possible only in the higher versions. So right now we are using this 2020. So we don't have that option of shift and extruding it <coughs> in max. So if you go about 2022. So you will get that particular option that is you can just press shift and extrude it. Alright. So now what I'll do over here is like I'll slightly just shuffle this over here in this way. I'll go into this side view over here. Let's take a line over here. So let's just take a line. Select the vertices, shuffle it up and let's take a fillet and go over here, rendering, enable in viewport, I'll just make it as rectangular. So this tutorial had to be completed, it was not completed previously. So let's just create this in this way. On the other hand, I'll again duplicate it one more. So select this, <coughs> slightly just push this up, again take a cylinder, shuffle it a bit down, drag it over here. Just increase its height over here. That's it. So what I can do over here is like this is not going to pass through it. Definitely not. So I'll just uh, go over here. I'll slightly reduce the height over here. So reduce the height segments. Convert to editable poly. I'll slightly just shuffle this over here again press shift and drag and again duplicate it over here select the vertices shuffle it in this way so I can just go over here drag it a bit out <coughs> alright so let's go to the side view section over here and let's model the wheels area so I'll just select this much of the area I'll isolate this So let's take the cylinder, increase its height, slightly just push it over here, and 
and increase the sides. So convert to editable poly. Select the edges and let's give a bit of chamfer so we can slightly add a bit of chamfer to it for the wheels area. Select the polygons slightly give a bit of inset and let's extrude it and just push it in this way <coughs> all right so once it is done so i can just duplicate it so i can just mirror it over here so i'll just mirror it <coughs> In X axis, I'll just drag it over here. So, this is not going to animate it, so I'm just keeping it normally. So, again, duplicate it. So, this is this are going to be a bit smaller as needed in this way. So if any details are required, you can just go over here. Let's go into the modeling. Go into the swift loop. Again, go over here. Use again a swift loop. Select the polygons over here. All right. So I'll just select this and let's slightly give a bit of bevel over here. Very less. So the same way give a bit of bevel over all right so let's just end isolate this so guys as you can see over here we have uh, go gone through this game assets and the props tutorial over here so if you want we can texture it if needed that can be done So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. As you can see, we have uh, completed this tutorial over here. So thanks for watching this tutorial.